So this is our view from the room, early morning. It's been 30 minutes since sunrise, but still a bit cloudy. Hopefully it doesn't rain today. All set for the day. We'll be returning to the same hotel after our trip today and just check out the amazing view the sunlit mountain so this is our breakfast option after the breakfast we are on our way to start our journey and firstly we'll head to independence pass um, get the car fueled up and then it's a one and a half hour drive to independence pass fueling up And finally the sun has come out, feels warm and nice. pass and we have reached Cooper mountain the views are amazing we are riding right through a forest just greenery and trees all around the road has a lot of curves and it's pretty steep as well at places so driving is fun as of now <laughs> we are entering Leadville which is around 10,000 feet in elevation past Arkansas River on the way to this place. Independence Pass. Not sure if you can get a clear view from here, but beautiful. some coffee nearby Twin Lakes town uh, the view is amazing uh, mountains all around and there's the Twin Lake and you have this bunch of vehicles which are also a cafe and we'll probably get some coffee and some donuts probably and head towards independent pass and then to downtown aspen beautiful cabin rentals and feel like it's more of a small town just for travelers and people who come to the lake The Twin Lakes are part of the San Isabel National Forest. We'll 
How do you find a coffee place here? Nearby. This is the first time that I've seen such mall gas station. <laughs> Tricks. Did you notice that the sheriff in the car is a dummy? I decided not to have coffee because I had coffee back in the hotel. But my friend there, he hasn't had his morning coffee, so he's grabbing one for himself. We are back on the road uh, now. Next stop, well, not stop. Next, next destination will be Independence Pass. finally arrived at independence pass and this place looks like heaven amazing the drive till this place was extremely scenic very beautiful we got the parking area here and i believe we have to walk towards independence pass for the view but i'm not sure if the walk is for longer than we expected but i'm assuming it'll be a short walk but let's see we're on our way to independence pass it was extremely breezy and because of the cool air i've taken out my jacket the view is just Amazing as you can see. It's a gloomy day. that I'll miss some spots and stuff like that but not so much that I stop enjoying the place where I'm at right now Challenging. Actually, the that specific turn was pretty challenging. We finally arrived at the Independence Pass, and the view is just breathtaking. My hands are shaking because it's windy and it's getting really cold. We are running back to our car because it's starting to rain a whole lot so we better get to our car soon as, as soon as we can <laughs> this was a great experience i really really love this place feels like home to be honest uh, reminds me of nepal we've got a lot of these mountains this kind of views and now we'll be heading to downtown Aspen. Hopefully it doesn't rain there, but I am not sure because 
I did check the weather and it said that it will rain yesterday. Let's see how it goes today. We are back on the road and it stopped raining and we have a shuttle to Maroon Bells at 12.30 and we have to reach like 30 minutes before so at least by 12. Um, we'll reach there on time but I just don't want it to rain. have eight more miles to go but we still need 16 minutes because there is a lot of traffic up ahead of us um, because of how small the road was but it's an experience and we're loving it so far the speed limit is 20 miles per hour so yeah we're not going super fast after 15 minutes of driving around to find parking we found a parking lot um, now we'll be taking a bus to Aspen Highlands from where we have to take a shuttle that we have reserved beforehand to reach Maroon Bells. So that's the plan. Uh, it's pretty cloudy. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain by the time we reach Maroon Bells. We are walking around the beautiful Aspen downtown in the middle of beautiful mountains all around. I'm assuming those mountains are for ski season. And I am assuming it's more crowded during ski season than it is now. Although finding a parking in this place is next to impossible. Look at the beautiful town. Um, we are on our way to the Ruby Transit Center where we will be catching a bus. Uh, it's a free bus till Aspen Highlands. As far as I know, all the buses in this area are free.
we are almost here. Um, I think I'm a noob at using this gimbal, but I'm getting used to it. But I don't like the fact that the InstaFlow 360 only lets me record the video in 1080p 30 frames per second while my native camera app allows me to record in 40k it's a beautiful way and i think we might want to go to one of these cafes once we are back from maroon Dallas. Uh, depends on what time permits let's see so this is where we are heading to the transit center these are the free shuttles and the one that we need to take is to castle maroon that's right yep this is the one we need to take this is our bus and i'm gonna open this thing up real quick and it's just us for now uh, so i am hoping there won't be a lot of people it was a good idea to take the bus a because finding a free parking in the aspen islands is near to impossible given that you have to book your trip like four months before uh, so we just got a better paid parking over in the downtown area and parked there and Second, it was better because the bus is taking us around downtown Aspen before we head to Aspen Highlands. So it's like a city tour. Highway 83. We have arrived at Aspen Highlands. Just got off the bus. Now we'll be taking the shuttle tickets that we have reserved. And there seems to be a big queue on the way to the bus entry point. Just center so building seven that's the bus stop cool wow this place is beautiful just look at this place Think that the sun is out because we had reserved the tickets earlier it was pretty seamless we got the tickets which they called boarding pass um, and we have about 30 minutes to kill so we'll go around probably look for some souvenirs and get some coffee or something like that Lots of nice cafes and souvenir shops around. Still have 20 minutes left before we go to the bus stop, which is right by the corner. Our bus has arrived and we're on our way inside the bus.
pretty amazing purpose. It fed Aspen's hydroelectric generators. We were one of the first cities. So the bus just dropped us and we we're on our way to the Maroon Bells viewing area. So this is the famous Maroon Bells. It's a weekend so you can see a lot of people. showering a little bit and it's kind of cool and breezy and there's my friend it's starting to rain which means we have to be on our way back as soon as we can Just got down from the shuttle to downtown Aspen and now we are on our way back to the parking garage. We'll get our car and we'll be heading towards the Glenwood Hot Springs swimming pool. This was a really nice day and it's sunny again. trying to find parking and I hope it is easier than it was in Aspen found a parking and it was not as tough as it was yesterday and today um, we are about to head to the pool but it's starting to rain but it's still sunny so hopefully it doesn't rain I mean at least not for long sure <sighs> rain for like two minutes and we are on our way to the pool now. The pool is extremely crowded as you can see. I mean it's a Sunday. 
that too on the Labor Day weekend. So, yeah. We are entering the pool now. And change of plans. We decided not to go to the hot springs uh, because we'll be here for 30 minutes only and we'll be driving to Vail. So, spending 50 bucks for 30 minutes. But swimming on a rainy day and it started raining again. That didn't make a whole lot of sense. So, we are heading back now. We came to our car in just in time. Started raining like crazy all of a sudden. We just decided to drive to Vale downtown and stroll around there and probably have dinner over there. Um, hopefully it's not raining over there, so that'd be great. We'll probably reach Vale in an hour, but I think it it might be safe to assume that the trip to Vale also might be uh, not productive because if it's raining there, like in most areas of Colorado right now, we just have to return back to the hotel. So, keeping the expectations low for Vale. A lot of people rafting, but I'm assuming it's not as fun when it's raining like this. Finally reached Vale. It looks like a pretty town. I think this is a village Vale. Sorry, Vale village. Yeah, that's right. Um, so we'll just walk around, relax. And it's already five, so we have to leave in an hour probably. Don't want to be driving in the dark. Um, yep. Oh, I really love these.
have some pizza so this looks like a good place seems like a nice but the place is pretty crowded well the pizza was good at least the chicken pizza animesh bhai didn't like the vegetarian pizza quite much and one thing that was super odd was that they brought the appetizer the garlic bread after we got the pizza which is kind of weird to just walk around take a stroll enjoy the live music um eat good food and now it's almost 6:30 pm and we're going to head back to our hotel 